Oh my god, that's so cool. Is the world about what the hell? I wonder if I can dash upwards. Oh my god, you can. That's amazing. Don't hit me with any of these rocks. Huh? Oh! Hey everyone, welcome to a pretty exciting Terraria video. The Starlight River mod demo is out, and if you guys don't know what Starlight River is, it's probably one of the most anticipated Terraria mods right now. The music is bumping. We're about to check this out here. So I loaded up a completely new world. Whoa. You hear that when I when I like change my weapons and stuff? It makes a noise. Yeah, I loaded up a whole new world with the mod installed, and it threw me right in. Welcome to Starlight River. This is a demo version of Starlight River with a focus on Ciros the third and currently most complete boss in the mod. Try out some of the gear available at this progression point and tell us what you think. I'll tell you what I think. Well, I don't know. Actually, I gotta. We gotta see what happens. I'm looting all. I'm taking everything. Oh, we could choose our class. Okay, okay. You know what? Let's uh, let's do ranged. All right. One thing I'm already noticing off the bat is there's a lot of different uh, noises. As you can hear when I pick up potions, they make a little noise. Switch the tools around, they make a little noise. Very cool, nice detail. We got an endless quiver. Give me all that. That's also making noises. All right, so what do we got for weapons? We got scrap shot, flare breacher, demon bow. We got some accessories. Might as well toss us on. Band of endurance slowly regenerates stamina. Interesting. We got glass arrowhead. Critical strikes cause fire to arrows to shatter under glass shards. That can be very useful. And we got true strike lens. I'm assuming I don't need a cloud of balloon if I already have a blue horseshoe balloon uh critical strikes expose enemies near the struck enemy exposed enemies take significantly more damage on the first hit cool let's put it on uh we got the breacher armor set gives us some nice damage upgrades there and what's the set bonus a spotter drone follows you building energy with kills double tap down to consume it and call down an orbital strike on an enemy look at the little dude floating around us we got flares which i'm assuming is for the flare breacher so let's get all these weapons here and since we do have infinite ammo minus the flare one uh we could actually test them here it just seems like a regular bow what was it it was like critical strikes because fired arrows are shattering glass shards i want to see that let me see a critical strike can you critical strike a dummy i have no idea oh there you go uh we got the flare breacher Ooh, that explodes and it shoots things behind it i love the animation so far doesn't feel like terraria feels like a more advanced version of terraria okay i guess that kind of no, don't cut that out. We got the scrap shot. Uh, right click to hook your enemies and pull closer. Firewall hook to reduce spread and go flying. So it's a shotgun. Love the screen shake when you shoot it. Definitely feels like it has some power behind it. And then we can right click. Oh my god, that's so cool. That is so cool. All right, let's get to it though. We got a grapple up here, I'm assuming. And this says Forbidden Winds is the first obtainable ability. Whoa. Feel like some zelda some breath of the wild type stuff forbidden winds press wasd plus keybind to dash all right let's read this again though forbidden winds is the first obtainable ability granting a dash that allows you to maneuver with ease and interact with objects like all abilities it's regularly used throughout progression at all stages of the game past obtainment dash into the bright blue outlines all right let me figure out what the keybind is all right i binded it let's see it in action oh sexy what the hell what was there? Why was there an explosion at the end? Did I double tap? I might have double tapped my drone on accident. What is this? I don't know what this is. Glass Idol Premium Edition. Used to worship a powerful guardian many times and many, many times. All right, sure. What is that? Sand bat. Hold up. I'm about to fire on this boy. Get out of here. All right, let's get moving. Is the world about what the hell? See, this is such a basic thing, but given that it's in Terraria, oh my God. That's amazing. What are these crystals? Can I break them? Absolutely not. They're like glowing though. Can I shoot them? Can I do anything to them? All right, it's all good. Oh, just look at the game, bro. Just look at this mod. This is so different. This does not feel like I'm playing Terraria anymore. If Terraria 2 or a sequel ever to happen, that is another world. This is what it should look like. I should feel like everything I do is so different. We're in a new world. This is so cool. I wonder if I can dash upwards. Oh my God, you can. That's amazing. Look at that. Oh, dash across, you know styling on them well i could actually like crawl on this crystal like actually jump on top of it i'm assuming this right here this little thing this is like trying to lead me somewhere or what i don't know what that is maybe it's just like ambience or something like that you know something to look cool who knows yeah i don't know exactly what i'm looking for i don't know if i could like break blocks and stuff okay yeah i can i don't know if i want to though <laughs> everything looks so nice wait what's this oh it's an enemy calm down now calm down what's down here 
see like what is this i don't know if i should be breaking stuff like that there's a lot of things that look interesting whoa a suicide bomber enemy anything interesting up here some more crystals i don't know if i'm supposed to break these crystals or what because look they glow when i'm near them if i'm not near them look they don't have that glow on them anymore all right let's fight some enemies using some of our weapons here this is just a demon bow nothing too crazy from it let's use the flare breacher some more oh got him and then the explosion you'll have to see it looks a little dangerous if i get on the floor over here i don't know if i want to be down here i do want to try this hook out let me see if i can reach him oh I was close. Ow, ow, ow. I don't know what the fuck I just stepped on. Let me break this. I can't break it. All right, you know what? It's all good. I'll go around, and then I'll just grapple a different enemy. Plain and simple. Oh, combo his ass. Wombo combo. Boom. Got him. And then I get the hell out of there. Seems like there's some very dangerous water. I don't know if the water is dangerous. Oh, are these not enemies? Small mag bites? Is the water dangerous? The water is dangerous. Okay. I thought it was like the the spikes next to the water now the water is dangerous it's good to know damn these enemies like teleport around look at the little animation they do when they go around it's cool let's be careful here we got some enemies trying to like suicide bomb me we got some enemies teleporting around you gotta be careful after asking the mod developer what do i do because i'm stupid we're supposed to dash into this crystal there you go i'm a genius i did it without any help but look at this this is crazy this is so cool for terraria all right and then what do i just right click on this oh oh we locked in here we got locked in here we gotta put up a fight now don't hit me with any of these rocks huh? oh my boy Ciros. oh that's how you pronounce it this is sick i'm ready i'm ready to beat your ass bro so i have two stamina meaning that i can dash two times in a row and then i gotta wait for the stamina to regen but it regens pretty quickly so i am able to you know spam a good bit no problem let's uh let's use our flare gun here oh i accidentally clicked out of the game let's use our flare gun here i don't know what he can hit me with like what part of his body he can hit me with and what he can't he's like dropping stuff what is that resonant what resonant crystal can i pick that up let me pick this up i don't know if i'm supposed to pick it up oh uh, am i supposed to dash into it oh is that what i'm doing i have no idea if i'm being honest this is too advanced for me. No Terraria bosses are like this. This is too advanced. I gotta actually use my brain a little bit while I'm fighting, and I can't just, like, run around in a circle. Uh, this is revolutionary for Terraria. All right, I don't know what weapon is gonna be our best bet here. Uh, I'm assuming the health bar, is that supposed to be, like, phases? So we're about to enter the next phase or something? I don't know. Maybe it's for looks. Maybe a new attack happens rather than, like, a phase. I don't know. We're about to see. I have not buffed up. I should probably do that. We are fighting a boss. So it would make sense, wouldn't it? Which crystal? That one? I'm coming. I'm coming for it. Boom. Got it. All right. Boom. New attack, I'm assuming, unlocks, like I said, once we uh, enter that different part of the health bar. I'm going to save my dashes for that one attack. That attack right there. Because I feel like that might be the attack where uh, it gets a little hard to dodge without a dash. But yeah, again, I don't know what weapon it is. I kind of want to grapple onto him with this. Like, does that work on him? Oh, it does. Okay, and it's not the smartest thing to do. I shouldn't have done it. I am taking a lot of damage. Okay, we got the crystal phase coming up again. And, oh, I might have missed by a little bit of miscalculation. Got it, though. Recalculated it. Made sure they hit it the second time. I am almost dead now. Look how, like, every time we shoot the boss, he's taking, like, actual contact damage. Like, his body's getting shot back when I hit him. That's amazing. Great details. Okay, this attack kind of hard to dodge. This circle one, I got to find a way out of the circle before it closes in. And I did right there. That might have been my first time dodging that attack. How are you supposed to? Boom! Got the crystal before he could even drop like more than two spikes. What's he doing? Pac-Man? What did he do? He just ate the ball? Okay, we can fight him. Oh my god, this stage is moving. Bro, this is amazing. I, my jaw is dropped. Okay, not really. I'm still talking normally. But you know, it's it's a figure of speech. You know what I'm saying. But this is crazy. Let me go on the other side. I feel like it might easier be in on this side. I feel like it, dropping down might be easier to ascend upwards, you know? Oh, shit. Do those explode? Okay, I had a feeling. Okay, let's... Uh, That's kind of hard to dodge, bro. But look at this. I can actually grapple and stuff. I'm surprised, like, how smooth this is, man. Like, this is so smooth. Let's switch back to the shotgun here. Look how he does actually, like, telegraph those attacks. Ow. Be careful. Uh, I don't think I want to be inside of those. 
Oh my god, I didn't have a lot of area to work with, so. Oh, I got hit by that. Didn't do that much damage, though. What if I get fancy with it? Ready? Let me get fancy with it. Oh. Oh. Hit him with a couple of grappling hook hits. Okay, that attack was crazy. Did you see that? But the fight is almost over. There we go. Fight finish? Phase two? Question mark? I hope not. That was a long fight, dude. And he's dead just like that. Oh my god. See, if that did not just get you hyped for what this mod has to offer in this little tiny demo, like, I don't know what's going to get you hyped about Terraria anymore. Well, I am pretty hyped about the Don't Starve update. But that being said, boss is dead. And uh, let's look at the stuff he dropped. He dropped the Coalescence. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Charge for a volley of brilliant magic. Fully charged shots leech mana when they collide. Let's see it in action here. Can I even see it in action? Do I not have... It uses mana and I don't have mana. Okay, we'll try it in a second. We'll go back in the temple to try it. We got the Sentinel's Tincture. Causes a barrier effect to mimic the shield of the Shattered Sentinel. It's an equipable and it's a vanity. Whoa, what kind of equipable is this? This goes in one of these slots? No, what? Oh, it goes here. It has its own slot. What the heck? Uh, we got magmatic core, obviously like a bunch of stuff. I don't even know if I'm be able to use at all. Like it says material. Am I, be, am I gonna be able to check it out? Oh, look at that. I am. I can actually check out what it's used for. Very nice, very nice. And then we got a equipable increase max stamina by one. Cool, because now look at this. I can dash three times back to back pretty much. That's beautiful. All right, let me head inside because I do want to check out the other weapons and then I think we could call it quits for the video there. This is sick though. This is very, very sick. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is my most anticipated mod. This would give me any reason to really care about Terraria anymore if they weren't doing an extra update. But yeah, let me uh, let me check out some of this other stuff here. All right, my bad if it's a little dark in here. You know, that's just how it is. It's ambient in here. But yeah, we got some weapons here. The melee stuff. I put it all on. Let's see the uh, armor here. There's a stats. The set bonus is a Accumulate lunar energy by dealing melee damage. Double tap down to summon the legendary spear Datsuzi. Datsuzi consumes lunar energy and disappears at zeros. Hold up for Datsuzi stats. I did not even use the uh, double tap down thing at all during that fight. Look at the stats though. Let's see it in action here. Can I, what do I need to do? Double tap down. All right. I got to accumulate lunar energy first. All right, before we do that, let's look at the other stuff. Uh, we got the Vitric Blade here. Shatters in the Enchanted Glass Shards. Unable to be used while shattered. Well, damn. At least it, like, it comes back pretty quickly, right? I think. Does it just shatter, like, every time I hit an enemy? Okay, interesting. We got the Steam Saw. Strike enemies to build up pressure. Release to, release to vent the pressure. Launching the saw blade, the right tool for the wrong job. Now, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, my God. This is amazing. You can see the saw blade, like, change color. Boom. Oh, my God. That's so sick. We got the Twisted Greatsword. Hold to unleash a whirling slash. Hold jump while slashing to accelerate upward. What the hell? Is our Terraria character spinning around? <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, if that isn't interesting, I don't know what is. If you are not in awe by that, then I don't know what gets you excited. You a boring ass motherfucker then. All right, and the, what was it? It was like, hold jump while slashing to accelerate upward. Whoa, yo, we are flying. What the fuck? All right, that's sick. Let's move on. Well, actually, do I have a energy? Accumulated. Ah, look at that. Get to see my boys come in with the fuck is his name? Dot Susie. My boy. All right. I'm sorry if the unorganization is going to bother you guys at all. Here's some accessories, by the way, if you want to read what those do. This one too. But I want to check out the mage stuff. And we'll end off after that. Let's see. Starwood Charm generates mana stars on critical strikes. We get barriers. You love the barrier stuff. We got a rune of warding. Not actually warding reforge though and then we got a golden guillotine so we got a couple of accessories we could choose from uh let's do that i want to put all of them on and then let's put on the armor there's some og staffs i'll take one of them let's look at the armor here it's another set bonus i like that the set bonuses are like really unique they're all double tap down ones so it says double tap down with a magic weapon to haunt or unhaunted or with an empty hand to unhaunt all Haunted weapons float around you and attack automatically, but decrease your max mana. Haunted weapons become disintegrated and non-magic users and can be used while haunted. Now that sounds cool as hell. What the heck? Yeah, let me haunt that shit. 
So that thing, I'm assuming, attacks. If it had actual enemies to target, it would attack normally. But yeah, we just got regular diamond staff. Cool. We've seen it before. Thunder bus. Oh, I'm about to bust on people. Fires powerful lightning at enemies in a cone. Right click to fire a lightning orb. Shooting at the orb zaps all enemies near it. The orb explodes on impact and only one may be active at a time. So if I right. Holy. <laughs> if I right click. Oh my god, this thing is destructive, bro. <laughs> Shaking the whole damn screen. That's really cool, though. It's really cool. I don't have mana anymore, but it's really cool. I'm trying to like shoot at it, but like it just explodes before I can really get some shots on it. But it's cool. After that, we got the Starlight Shuriken. Tosses a volley of magical shurikens. Landing every shuriken decreases the amount throw by one. Throw a powerful glaive when you should throw only one shuriken. All right, let's see it in action here. Oh, this is really cool. I like how it looks. I like the big one, how it pierces the enemies. Oh my God, look at that. Amazing, awesome. How many of my weapons can I haunt? I'm gonna haunt almost everything. And then let's use this. We haven't used this yet. The coalescence. All right. There you go. I haunted a bunch of weapons. Let's use the coalescence now. Oh, look at this. This is amazing, dude. If this doesn't like remind you of like some Breath of the Wild, some Genshin, some Phoenix Immortals Rising type shit. I don't know, bro. This is crazy. Some MMO type game. That's crazy. But yes, with that said, that's going to end off our little demo preview. Jeez, what is happening? <laughs> this is really exciting that we're getting a demo preview of this already. That means it's in decent development. That means we got a lot to look forward to. And I'm hyped, man. Because, like, just look at it. Just look at it. This is like, if they ever make a sequel to Terraria, I expect this and then some. But yeah, make sure you guys support the mod. Check out everything. Their Discord, all their Twitter, whatever they all have. Check all that out. Make sure to support them because like this has me single-handedly excited for Terraria again. Modern Terraria, obviously. And, and the Don't Starve Terraria update. I'm pretty excited for that. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time.